Hi, and thank you for following the Bite Size Beginner's Guide to the HP Reverb G2. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at how to optimize all the various different graphic settings so you can have the best possible experience while you're in VR. By the way, big thank you for joining VR Essentials. We talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and VR educational entertainment. If it's your first time to the platform, very nice to meet you. And a big welcome back, of course, to all our regular subscribers. In the previous episodes, we looked at how to fix the black screen issue, also how to set up the audio and the microphone. But today we're here to tweak the resolution and display settings to make sure you have a comfortable experience in VR. And by the way, there is a link in the description below the like button that will lead you to the playlist with all the various different videos which might be helpful to you. For the purpose of today's video, I will be using the RTX 2070. Now do note that the performance and the comfort of your VR experience is also going to depend on your hardware. Now there are four main areas where you need to tweak your various different graphic settings. The first one will be the mixed reality software, followed by your graphics card and then also in Steam VR and of course whilst you launch an app inside of the app itself. Now don't worry I will take you through step by step each one of them and you're gonna have to do some experimenting of course as I mentioned because your setup might be different to mine. Okay to start off go to task manager and make sure that you end mixed reality and also Steam VR and also perhaps end any other application running on your computer that you don't need running but be careful make sure you only end the task of things that you're familiar with otherwise this could affect your computer. And then if you have 20 different tabs running on your Google Chrome or other various different browsers, make sure that you close all of them except for this video running because the more windows you have open, of course, this will affect also the performance whilst you're in VR gameplay. Oh, and just a quick reminder also to make sure that you do have the latest driver installed on your graphics card before proceeding to the next step. If you haven't, please update it and then restart your computer and I'll see you back here shortly. Once the window has opened, click on the display tab and then make sure that your visual quality and display resolution are both set to automatic to start off with. In the calibration area, do make sure also you leave it to default for the moment and then later you can bump it up to see how it will improve things. All right, let's move on to the graphics card. Now find the control panel where you can change all the various different settings. In the first settings, you could choose either to let the application decide how it's supposed to run, or you could do like me and then use the advanced 3D image settings. If you have a control panel where you can change your physics settings, then make sure that you choose the respective graphics card that you want to use for your VR experiences. The manage 3D settings is where things get interesting. Now, if you've never done VR before or you're a complete beginner to all these kind of things, I highly suggest that every single option that you'll go through, you just let and choose the application of your graphics card to do the work. Try not to bump up any settings at this moment in time. Just start off with the minimal settings as you possibly can and then later on, of course, you can increase things as you go along. Now, of course, I've been doing VR for quite a while and I'm quite familiar with my graphics card and how it works. So I kind of know and been tweaking and testing as I went along to be able to tweak all the various different settings as you can see on the video. Now that you're done with the graphics card part, it's time to open Steam first. And then if you go to the very top on the right hand side, you'll see Steam VR. Just click on that so that you can open Steam VR and then let it load. What should happen is you'll see the Steam VR pop up. Just come up on your screen and it'll show a little icon there to let you know that there's a VR headset and the controllers that it's paired with. And you'll also notice inside of your VR headset that Steam VR Home has loaded. And just a reminder that if you want to fix the black screen issue because you can't see anything inside of your VR headset, do go and check out one of the previous videos where I explained to you how to fix that. However, before we proceed to launching any apps, let's finalize first the graphic settings. And also it's not recommended to launch your apps from Steam VR Home, but I'll go through this a little bit more very shortly. All right, so now go back to your computer and right click or left click on the three little bars of the hamburger icon of the Steam VR pop-up and then you should see something called settings. Now click on settings. All right, now what you should see is a pop-up which basically is gonna load various different settings there which you're gonna tweak 
right away. All right, so there are a couple of tabs we're gonna tweak. The first one, make sure that you're in general, and you'll see, first of all, that it's gonna tell you that your refresh rate is 90 hertz. Now, make sure that your render resolution is set on custom so that you can tweak every single app individually later on. All right, so what we really need to focus on here is the resolution per eye settings. Now, by default, it's set to 100%. So if you compare the resolution per eye in Steam as default, it's much higher to what it's actually supposed to be when you do a Google search, for example, if you wanna find out what the resolution is, it's supposed to be 2160 by 2160. To make sure you don't get any lagging or stuttering of any kind, make sure you bring down the bar to around 46 to up to 50%. And as you bring the bar down, you'll notice the resolution will change and it will be more towards what the HP Reverb G2's resolution is supposed to be. Once you're done with that, go to the video tab and then where you see advanced super sampling filtering, just switch it off for now. But then later, of course, if you don't have any issues, just switch it on. It will basically smooth out all the various different pixels as to what you see in the graphics. For your overall render quality, just leave it on automatic. It should be absolutely fine. But if you do have, again, any issues of any kind, then you can adjust the settings there. Perhaps you could put it on medium, but normally automatic should be okay. Now let's focus our attention on the per application video settings tab. Now click on it and you'll notice that all your various different VR applications will be listed there. And then every time that you purchase a new VR app from Steam and you download it on your computer, it will also be listed there. Now find the VR application that you'll want to try out for the first time using your HP Reverb G2. Now inside of this tab is where you can make individual tweaks to specific apps that you want to customize your VR experience. You'll notice that by default, it's set to 100% of the previous resolution, which you tweaked earlier on in this video. Now this is again going to be very much dependent on your graphics card, your components inside of your computer, and then also on the VR application itself. But you know, you can do some testing, bump it up, or if you need to bring it down, then this is where you can do that. You can also change the motion smoothing. Generally speaking, we leave it to global settings, but of course you can force it on or disable it from there. And just in case you did opt into any beta trials of any specific apps, you can also choose from this tab to opt out of that and then go for the legacy option. And then of course, the other thing that you'll want to tweak is the actual graphic and display settings inside of the virtual reality experiences. I highly suggest that you start off with the standard or low resolution options to begin with. And then as you gain more experience to then start bumping things up. If indeed you want to start increasing settings because you feel that you're not very comfortable inside of your VR experience, the first thing to change will be inside of your mixed reality software. You can change it from automatic to choose the various different other settings that are available to you there. And the second area where you want to make changes will be inside of your graphics card. Do be mindful, however, to first of all, just make one change at a time. And every time you do make a change, you will need to close everything up and then restart both the mixed reality and also Steam and Steam VR. And finally, once you're comfortable with all the changes you had made inside of your mixed reality and also your graphics card control panel, that's when you can actually start to make the changes inside of Steam VR. But before you make all these tweaks, it's very exciting because what we've effectively just done is set everything to the standard resolution. So normally you shouldn't have any latency or stuttering of any kind. So now let's both meet in the next video where I'll show you how to launch your first VR experience using the HP Reverb G2. Let's go.